Hi, I'm John Storms, and I uh, want to introduce you to my new toy. Picked this up with the Lightorama Summer Sale. This is a Lightorama Servo Dog. Uh, can be used for a whole bunch of stuff. I believe you know these three banks here can be used for uh, controlling uh, input. Of course, we have the two Lightorama RJ45 jacks, which are used to hook it up to a Lightorama network, and I believe you can do uh, DMX with this as well. Over here we have the uh, the power connector, and I already have a uh, 12 volt holiday core power supply hooked up to this. And of course I got the V plus to the red, and I got the black to the ground. And it says this board can handle no more than 14 volts, so 12 volts ought to be fine. Um, and it is jumpered such that the way it works is that these guys down here on the end, these are my servo settings. Okay, and the way it works is this bottom row this way is ground, and then the next row up is power, and then this final row is control, which turns out to work really, really handy because it matches very closely how my or exactly how my servos are connected. So these are some old servos I have. Um, I used to have a little remote control zaggy glider, and these were used to control the ailerons. So I went on to Futaba, these are Futaba S3003s, and I went on to their website, and uh, these can handle uh, 4.8 to 6 volts. So I look at the little connectors here, and of course we have bl black, red, and white. So black is ground, red is power, or volt V+, plus, and white is the uh, control line. And I look down here on this block, right there, and it matches up just perfect. So ground, power, control. So what I do is I just take my first little servo here, flip them around, see, plug them in just like that. It's hard to do with one hand holding the camera. And I press them down. I think that's right. It feels a little tight, so I'm just going to reseat it here. Black ground is on the bottom. Just making sure I'm not forcing anything. Alright, so that's him. And I got two of these, so I'm going to do and one for each wing. So I'm going to put this one on four. So I got one on one and one on four. Now there are eight ports. And the way it works is that you have these two little voltage regulator. So according to the documentation, if you have more than nine volts coming in, you can use these guys. And they are pre-jumpered so that they will, uh, V1 works with the first four and V2 works with the next four. And I need to double check the documentation which is which, but you can put a little screw, a little Phillips screwdriver and tune them a little bit for the voltage that you want. So what I want to do is I want to find out how much voltage is on there. And I've actually already done it. You'd want to do that before you hooked up the servos. But I'm going to do it right now. Where's my multimeter? There it is. So I got my multimeter over here. I have this guy right here. I turn on the power. Nothing bad happens. Little red light flashes. So I set my voltmeter to 20 volts so I can see what it's doing here. Okay. And of course, for grins, I'm going to check the incoming power just to make sure I'm actually getting. 12 volts and I did this before hooking it up to the board to make sure yep, 12 volts as expected so now I want to check out these guys down here and see how much voltage they're getting because you don't want to fry your servos so the bottom row is ground so I touch him to ground. And I'm going to touch him to power. It's hard to do it without blocking the view of the camera. 5.3. 
a little more. So that is fine. That is well within the range of what my servos can handle. So I'm good to go. So I got those guys hooked up. Uh, next what I do is I plug him in here with an RJ45 cable. It leads back to my RS45 booster. Okay. So I got my servos hooked up to the servo block power connected to the 12 volt power supply and then RJ45 connected to this and so with the hardware utility I went in there and changed this device ID from 1 to 15 okay and then I got these little popsicle sticks The same kind of thing for the other popsicle stick. Give him some tape. Tip him to the servo like that. See, so I've got my t we got two little propellers, and we're all talking here. So I come up here and I double check. I'm on COM port three, port fifteen. So if I come up here and I say I'm using the slider port one and I can move it back and forth and you can see the little servo one's going back and forth servo one's going back and forth I come over here check on servo four grab the little slider bar see that check that out and I can have up to eight servos coming off of this board and they can be at two different voltages and I can set them to whatever I want so I can have different kinds of servos um, the other two screws here you can also set up some mofets which is uh, also some fun with some switches. But this is uh, lots and lots of fun. See that? So I got these servos working and I can prove that they're working with the servo dock. And I can use that to control eyeballs or mouse or I can make a head turn or whatever I want to do. So super cool stuff with the servo dock. Okay, so today I'm going to show you my newest toy with the servo dog that I got from Lightarama as part of the summer sale. And uh, it's, it's a pretty old board, but uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So it looks like first thing I need to do is to change the channel ID to something different than a one. Okay, so I pull up the hardware utility. Hit auto configure just so it finds my dongle. It's there on COM3. And then I'm going to change the max unit ID to something lower so it goes faster. Set it to 7 and say refresh. So now what it's doing is it's pinging all the IDs 1 through 7 to see what it finds. And there we are. On unit ID 1, we have an SD08, so that's Servo Dog. It's running version 1.03. That's its firmware version. So now I want to test the Servo Dog. So for that, I need to close the hardware utility and open up the Servo Dog. Okay, so here I am loading up the Servo Dog program that comes with the Lightarama software. I'm running Lightarama S4 Pro Edition. And this is the uh, utility here. So, as you can see, it has all the little things you need to do in order to test the servo controls. Okay, I try to go work it. You see, you can move the little slider bar back and forth. It does all this cool stuff. But in order to actually make it work with the hardware, I first need to set the COM port, it's on COM3, and then I need to set the unit ID, which I have set to 15, and that's hex 15. So now, I go grab the slider bar, zip zap back and forth, and server 1 is moving. So I have server 1 connected, and it's highlighted below. When I move the little bar back and forth, it moves. So now I select server 4, grab the slider bar, and server 4 is moving back and forth. So 
Very, very happy, very excited that that's all working. You have uh, various things you can do. You can have, uh, there's test patterns, you can have power up parameters, and you know, what is it going to do when it first comes up? What is it first going to do in case it loses communication? Um, you can read the configuration from the servo board, see what they are, change them, and then send it back to, uh, to write. Okay? And uh, testing the servos is that easy. And this window is the simulator window. Okay, so now we're going to make a quick little sequence to show that we can control this from the sequence editor. So I'm going to go File, New, New Animation Sequence. I only need two channels for this. Two channels. Okay, so first channel, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to call this uh, Servo Dog. 15-1 and for servo dogs you use it as a lightorama controller and of course I have mine on unit ID number hex 15 and then sound circuit 1 and then for this one I do the same thing it's the 15-4 because that's where I have my other servo unit is 15 channel 4 okay and so all I have to do to work the servos is I just do a fade up and a fade down and that will cause it to turn. Alright, so copy this and then paste this guy here. Boom, boom, just like that. I'm going to grab this whole thing, say Play, select, play, oh, loop at end. So now when I hit play, the servo dogs move back and forth. That one, this one, that one, this one, to all together. And it works perfect. And that is, that is that's, the, that's that easy to write a sequence to control the servos. Okay, so these are my happy servos. These are running from a sequence in the sequence editor. And I just ramp them on and off to uh, make them turn. Seems uh, pretty self-explanatory. So once again, I got the server wires hooked into the servo block where the uh, little cable seemed to fit, the connectors fit just right. I got my 12 volt power supply feeding the thing, give me a red light. Then I have it hooked up with an RJ45 jack to a Cat5 cable to my RS45 adapter with booster, which goes to my PC, which is running S4 and right now it is going through a sequence that is controlling these two servos. Then the servos are Futaba's S3003s. Cool, huh?